So starting in these next few videos, what we're going to start working on is photo retouching on people's faces and also then if they have red eye. So let's go ahead and go to our Google Classroom and get down F6, which is called the Spot Healing Tool. And the thing to keep in mind here is that um, we don't do this as a way to make fun of anybody. Um, we don't do it as a way to degrade anybody. However, as we know, our yearbook is a um, a document that's going to last for the rest of these people's lives. So we do want to make them, you know, the pictures we put in there, we want to make sure are ones that um, people wouldn't be embarrassed to have in there. Um, particularly, one of the problems that you see a lot with uh, teenagers is acne. So we have the power in Photoshop to be able to take care of some of those things. And so especially if we're going to put um, a really, you know, big sized photo on a spread, we want to make sure that the, the person's face is as clear as we can make it. So um, in order to do this, once again, you don't need to, but I like to um, duplicate this so we can see the difference between, it's kind of like a before and after shot. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm just going to call it um, spot tool because that's the tool we're going to use to get started here. And then we'll be able to do a before and after to kind of see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, zoom tool and I'm just going to zoom in on this lovely young lady's face. The closer you get, um, the more accurate you'll be. So don't be afraid to zoom in um, nice and close. And then we're going to go ahead and do some fixing and touching up of her skin. So first things first, to find our spot healing tool, we go to our toolbar and we're going to come down to the second section and you'll see a little band-aid. Um, underneath this is all of the tools that we're going to use um, for face and eye retouching. So the first one we're going to talk about is our spot healing tool. Um, the spot healing tool is my favorite one to use simply because of how easy it is to use. So typically um, what I do is if you need to, you can certainly change the size and the hardness of your brush. Um, I like to just bring mine out here and then use my brackets whether I need it to be bigger or smaller. Now the thing to keep in mind about the spot healing tool is that you want it to be approximately the same size as the blemish or um, the red area around the zit. So I'm going to go with the one that is currently the largest on her forehead. I'm just going to position my brush so that it's right over that blemish and then all I need to do is click and Photoshop takes care of the rest. So just like that I can kind of click around and what it does is it blends together the pixels that are around the blemish and then takes those and puts them together to make a cover up essentially kind of like a concealer almost um, that takes care of that. Now I would I wouldn't want to just start clicking all over here because my brush size is a little too large for some of these different ones. So what I would do is I would take it and make my brush a little bit smaller and then I would just click on some of these different spots. Now the thing you do have to be careful of, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for some of these to blend a little bit more, um, is that it grabs what is around the edges. So you can see sometimes if you get too close, I'll show you what happens. If you get too close to her hairline, um, what it's going to start doing is grabbing her hair and putting that into the circle. So you, you do need to be careful. You don't want to get um, too carried away. I just want to try to blend some of these spots that she has and cover up particularly any scars or really red areas. So then I'm going to come down and try to take care of some of her cheeks here. 
spots on her cheeks. Blend these together a little bit. So it is really, I mean, when you think about it, a really incredible tool. And the fact that we have the power to, um, you know, make sure that she is not going to have a photo in the yearbook that has um, skin that she probably is embarrassed for. Maybe she's not, but um, it is something within our power to kind of take care of. So um, we try to do that. So here, here's an example. Um, I got too close to her lip. And I actually made it look like she has a zit there. So I'm going to get rid of that. I might try to bring it down a little bit, but there we go. Kind of covers that up. So once I've kind of fixed up her face, I'll just hide and show here for you to see the difference. So it's subtle. I mean, if we zoom in, we'll see it a little bit better. But it definitely made a difference there for her and so that is one of the easiest tools to use is the spot healing one because photoshop essentially takes care of um, all of the details for you so remember technically you wouldn't need to do this double layer all i did was to show us a before and after so i'm going to delete my spot tool um, layer and then just show you that really what you can do is just be on this layer the background layer and with your spot healing tool you can just go ahead and start fixing right from there you don't you don't actually have to duplicate that was just for us to be able to compare the before and after shot so that's your spot healing tool i encourage you to use it at any point where you have a photo where people clearly have some blemishes on their faces um you know to make sure that the images we put in the yearbook um, are the best that they can be